How do you even get started with MidJourney? That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about what platforms you need, what you need to get started to make sure that you can create your dreams into a reality. We also have a guest star from Sabrina's workshop that's going to help you get through this step by step and let us know what you think. What are you trying to create? Are you doing this for your business, for a side hustle, for just a passion project? Let us know in the comments section down below. Let's go. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a Discord account set up. If you don't have a Discord, you can go to discord.com and create an account. You'll go through their onboarding process of adding your birth date and things like that. And then it will ask you if you want to create your first Discord server. You don't need to do that for this, so you can just ignore that but you will need to verify your email. Discord will send you a verification link to your email and all you need to do is click that and you can get started using Discord. Our next step from here is going to be to go to midjourney.com and there you will be able to actually start using this within Discord. So you're going to click join the beta at the bottom right and it will open up an invite for you to have access to the MidJourney server through Discord. It'll automatically open the app if you are already signed in, and we are. Now you are in the public MidJourney server and you're able to see everything that everyone is creating in the main rooms. There are rooms on the side with support, but also the newcomer rooms, which is where you can start experimenting with the AI. So you can click on one of those and get started using the prompts. To create your first image, type slash imagine, and that will bring up the imagine prompt. Then you put in your keywords separated by commas with what you want it to generate. There are lots of prompts that you can use and pretty much anything that you can imagine. Uh, but there are also lists of prompts online and there are some more detailed ways that you can generate artwork. But right now we're gonna keep it simple. It's gonna be Kermit the Frog riding a dinosaur in the style of Vincent Van Gogh. You can submit that and then it will want you to accept the terms of service before it will start generating your image. Now, of course, this is public, so everyone can see whatever you're generating and you can see whatever they're generating. And about a minute later, we have our image. It gives you four separate images. These are the ones that you can iterate on. So the U means upscale and the V means a variant or a variation. They're labeled one through four and you can use the corresponding buttons to make variations or upscales, which are just higher res versions. If we go back to mid journey and click sign in and click authorize it to use your discord account, you can see your history. So you can see everything that you've generated. And I've actually used this prompt twice and did a variation of one so we can see all of those in our archive. You only have a certain amount of credits that you can use to create images on the free account. So once you have the paid account, you're gonna get access to message the Mid Journey bot directly in your direct message section of Discord. So I'll show you an example of that with my other account. You can talk to the Mid Journey bot and ask it to generate what you want within that section privately. And it's a little easier to iterate on designs because it's much more organized. It's easier to find everything. You can also set custom settings for how you want the mid journey bot to interact as far as how stylized it is and things like that. Keep in mind that Mid Journey isn't excellent at creating full body portraits. So if you want that, you really have to reiterate that in your message. Mention it several times and it will get the hint and start learning that you want it head to foot. You want a whole body image. 
A great prompt that you can use is character sheets because it will give you animation style character sheets that animators would use. So the same character for multiple angles, which is helpful. And you can really play around with that and then make iterations of each one of those. You can do variations of each. When you find one that you really like, you can right click it and do save image as and save it to your computer. For an example of how you could use this to create concept art, you can put in keywords to develop something, but of course the standard ratio, image ratio is a one by one, it's a square, it's pretty small. But for instance, I liked that image there, so I upscaled that alone by itself. Then I asked it to make variations of that image also. And then once I picked one of those that I liked, I could upscale one of those. I also used it to develop more elements that I would use in the finished artwork. So for instance, destroyed buildings, And remember, you see the emojis below the upscaled images. This will allow you to train the AI and let it know how well it's doing as far as representing what you're asking for. Here you can see that as I was working on my artwork, I went back and asked for more elements. So now I'll show you briefly how I put all of these images together. I started by dropping in my image into a blank Procreate canvas. Procreate, of course, is a iOS app that you can get. It's great for artists, digital artists, and it has just a wide range of uses. So I started dropping in the different images from Midjourney and distorting them so that they looked like they fit together with the correct perspective. I altered the buildings and eventually started replacing the buildings themselves entirely. I used the color palette to make sure that everything was the same uh, color, color grading was accurate, and everything was the right level of saturation. I got some stock images of fire and added that in as well and made sure that the lighting was correct on the soldiers. I added some foreground elements from other mid-journey prompts and then got the image of a killer robot from Horizon Zero Dawn, the video game, and put that in the background. And there's your post-apocalyptic cyberpunk war scene. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. Have you used Midjourney? Is it something that you're interested in? Let us know.